I'm on a soapbox. We are Ashley and Josh, a couple that fell in love despite the odds. As you know, life can be so unexpected, but we vlog the good and the bad to document our journey. So come along as we figure things out together. What do you say? What do you say about my mama? Say I love your mama. Mm-hmm. You be taking those your mama jokes too far. Oh, uh, you don't? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. But anywho, it's Saturday. I don't know what day it is, to be honest with you. 30th, baby. Oh, yeah, that's right, because tomorrow's... Christmas. Yeah, Halloween. Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> you see all these Christmas damn decorations everywhere. Uh, where's your seatbelt at? It's about to be No, there. put your seatbelt on. It's about to be there. That is ridiculous. Somebody get on Josh for not wearing his seatbelt like he should. We are in a parking lot. We're going to another store in the same parking that lot. That doesn't matter. And the ding, ding, ding is annoying, is it not? Ashley's the only one that gets in accidents in, in park car park. Anywho. Just saying. So today is, yeah, yeah back October. In the whatever. Today is October 30th. And I decided to, to, you know, wear my little orange sweatshirt and Josh talking about some. I look like I'm. Emma Fudd. He about, she about to go hunting. What's that? What's he always say? The rabbit. Where's the rabbit at? We play too much. Anyhow. Tricks kids. Tricks are for kids? I mean, that's, that's, that's the cereal, Josh. Yeah, I know. That's a whole different thing. I know, but still. But look, I got some sleep last night. Your girl's feeling great. I only woke up three times. I woke up like, you know, just let's just get up and go out and do our, what's it called? Errands. Yeah, let's do our errands early. And Josh was like, no, because he, he wouldn't sleep around three. Josh, Josh has a pattern of going to sleep really late, y'all. But let's, can we, can we go inside the store to? Whatever. But anywho, we have been on the search for a new dishwasher since our dishwasher went kaput. Let me put my mask on. So we went on, uh, yeah, this search, which I need to happen immediately because y'all know, y'all know I don't like washing dishes, and I've been washing dishes by hand for the past week and some change. Are you rushing me out the car, babe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, in a minute. Anywho, back to what I was saying. Well, wow, so rudely interrupted. Yeah, we need a new dishwasher I think we found one we're gonna go to another store we were at this place called cons and didn't really find anything that we we liked so we're gonna go back to Lowe's and purchase a new dishwasher and then hopefully by was it Thanksgiving they ha they'll have like Black Friday sales and we can get a new stove and range and refrigerator because our refrigerator is broken too. Well, the refrigerator itself isn't broken, but the ice box, it doesn't produce ice anymore. It just leaks water. So we had to go get like ice trays. <laughs> We've been taken back to the, the, the ice age times, you know, back when ice trays were a thing. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Nice and boring. Side note, I asked Josh to, okay, number one, when you were little, right? Did you ever like build forts and stuff like that? Tell me. No? Anyway, I wanted to do like a picnic type of thing with my boo. Maybe we can go get some pizza, just camp out, get some popcorn, just watch movies all day, and maybe build a fort. It's like nostalgic type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Josh talking about something no. I didn't say no, I just said. You said no to the fort. So said we didn't have no boxes and stuff. He didn't want to build no fort with me, y'all. I was, I was a little disappointed. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Stop texting and driving. No text. But anywho, we did get to watch a movie, and you know, Josh cooked, cooked and stuff like that, and made some brownies. So he he came through with that. But we gotta we gotta do like a, a fort one of these days before Hunter gets here. Make me feel like I'm a kid again. I'm saying is, <laughs> I know how to pitch a tent, if you know what I mean. Josh! Uh, <laughs> think it's on my nerves. Dang! <laughs> you know what? Christmas stuff is out already, and I love it. I feel like we need to put our Christmas tree up. 
this week. Uh, what? Why not? Thanksgiving is even came. Yeah, you can have your Christmas tree up during Thanksgiving. Uh, Am I the only one yeah, who does that? You're the only one does that. Most people do it like after Thanksgiving. Then you only have it up for a month. All that hard work for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But like, just for one month. He's like a crazy person. How is it? Before, two months before Christmas. Anywho. All right, we've made it to Lowe's. Let's go make this purchase. Adulting is sometimes too much. You know what I'm saying? Remember those days when stuff broke down and your parents just paid for stuff? Yeah. You didn't have to worry about it. You didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us. Yeah. Adults. Ooh. Happy Halloween, you guys. It is October. 31st and um, we're on our way to this place called Captain George's. I'm glad I said that because I almost forgot my Captain George's pass. Bam. To celebrate Danny's birthday. His birthday, his 60th birthday was on Wednesday but everybody had to work so we pushed it off till today so everybody can come and uh, go out to dinner. Stay you guys. Bye. So this will sh this should be interesting. It'll be Kim, Lisa, Mom, DJ, Danny, and Josh and me, of course. I haven't seen Lisa and Kim in a while, actually. So it'll be nice to see them. Open the door. Thank you much. Danny wanted this um. Go kart, not a go kart. What is it? What is the golfing thing called? The golf cart. Golf cart cover. I don't know. So I guess it protects him. Oh. The elements. Huh? Protects you from the elements. Protects people from the elements when it's raining or windy or whatever. And cold outside. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be honest with you, until he said that's what he wanted. So, shout out to Amazon for always having uh, everything, you know? Anywho. Just like our bags. <laughs> That's right, just like our bags. That plug in there, you know what I'm saying? Go check out our um, travel toiletry, bags. Toiletry bags and book bags. And book bags. All available now on Amazon. On Amazon. Ooh, let me put my seatbelt on, you know. Josh just be pulling off, ouch, without me putting on my seatbelt, you know. Josh don't be doing such a thing. Huh? Josh don't be doing such a thing. Yeah, but y'all saw that, right? Anywho, mom, mom said that they we were all going to meet at Captain George's at 3.30. So when I called to see what time of their, you know, pulling off, she says, oh, we're not leaving until 3.30. I thought, I, she said, I told you that. No, she ain't. She ain't say that. So had Josh, um, <laughs> poor Josh. Rushing home from work because you know he got off at 2:30. So instead of just going straight up there to the restaurant, we're just going to go to mom's house, drop off the gift, and we might all just leave at the same time. So yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot to do. It's a lot to coordinate. It's like you're like the dungeon or something. What? <laughs> it's a, the way you had it over here to the brick behind you, like you were like in a dungeon. It's all dark. <laughs> They got new layout in here, but you know, family time. I believe Thursday. How do we get out of here? Thursday I think we Thursday. should go the other way since that side is blocked. Yeah, you no? should go back around. Okay. Anyway. That's what it looks like. Hola. Hola, you guys. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. Nobody see Josh never wants to listen to me when it comes to driving because he thinks I'm a bad driver. But I have a good sense of direction. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, today's Saturday. And Josh doesn't know what the hell he's doing to get us out of here. We just left um Pendulum. It's, this is a restaurant slash butcher that Josh has been wanting to try out for a long time since he saw it on the Food Network 
What's it? Uh, Dave's Divers Dives. Dave's Divers Dives. Dave's Diners and Dave's Dives Diners and Dives. Something like that. Something like that. If y'all know, he the guy with the the bright pink hair drives the the red Camaro. He'd be going all these places. He has pink hair. He has no. He has he has a uh, blonde hair. Blonde hair. Like spiked up. He's an older guy. I think I know <clears throat> who you're talking about. I've actually never seen the. I said, what's it called? Guy? He has his own show. He has his own restaurant too. Uh, Furio. Oh, Guy Fury. Guy Fury. Yeah, that's that's Is his, that his name. The food itself was okay. It was yeah, good. It was I got we there. got the Cubano sandwich and I got a salad with it. Um, and then Josh got it's called the the oh, birds Marshall, you go something. To? Marshalls. The bird something. It was like a chicken thigh on. Um, Stop talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> whatever whatever you're, you're saying, it's going in the thing. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> See, Josh be looking like he's the nice guy. I am the nice guy. I'm trying to put directions in. I'm using the thing. Y'all be thinking I'm always mean to Josh. I be see y'all comments. I be I be see y'all comments. Let up on Josh. You did just told me. He just told me to shut the hell up. Because <laughs> I'm trying to put the directions in. <laughs> and the thing's showing up. Everything else. Everything you're saying is showing up. <laughs> let what? me hush. Let me let me hush right quick. Can I, can I talk now? Let me talk now. <laughs> uh, the food was good. I cannot eat large sums of food at once because I end up getting, um, yeah, it's just not a good, it's not a good thing. As some reflux starts happening, I feel miserably stuck. So <clears throat> I ate my salad and a little bit of um, some of the sandwiches. We we tried each other's sandwiches, and um, yeah, would I come back? Yes. Just from what Josh says, that at night the the butcher. The owner of the spot rents out the space to yeah. a what? To a guy that runs a uh, he make, he turns it into like an Asian fusion restaurant. restaurant. I mean, it's a cute place <clears throat> in there. I would definitely go back. But where did we leave you guys last time? Oh, we were at Captain George's. So after Captain George's, we end up going to Mom's house. Um, it was and saying happy birthday to Danny. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Danny. Happy birthday to you. That was Halloween. Hey, that was Halloween. I feel like Halloween was so long ago when it was actually like last week. And, um, yeah, Danny's getting old. He's a big 60. Everybody's so, I'm not gonna say old. Everybody's maturing. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Another update. Your girl is finally, after a year and like four months, <laughs> getting a car. I found a car that I like, and um, I think that will be a good fit for me and Josh and the baby. Something that's going to be safe because y'all know from what Josh say, I'm not a good driver. So I, I figured I was going to get an SUV. It's, it's not what I say. It's, it's what the Department of Motor Vehicles of Virginia Beach, Virginia says. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> look at this. Look, they can pull up your record. But I didn't hit anyone say, well, out of the accidents well, that I've been it, in. Even if you're not hitting anyone, you're not good luck at, you know, I'm good luck with driving. Someone always hits you, so right. either way, it's still an accident. At, out of the accidents that I've been hit, been in, I have been the one that was hit. I might have, I hate to bring this up, but I might have tapped Josh's dad's car, but that's the only thing that I could have possibly, one accident, have caused. You know what I mean? So, ultimately, we decided on a 2022 Forerunner. It was, it's being, it was being built and now they're shipping it over to the dealership so I should have it hopefully by next uh, by next week. So uh, it, 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 it'll be it's just nice to be able to drive your own stuff. I'm so grateful though for my mom because she let me drive one of her cars for like the longest time 
and really throughout this whole year I've just been trying to figure out what I wanted how much money I wanted to spend is was it feasible for me to spend this money and I'm glad I waited because we almost got that Lexus uh, car <clears throat> but now that Hunter is about to be here I, I'm happy that I waited because I think that an SUV that's some, a car that's higher would be just better just in case you know something happens if we get in an accident I feel like he will be safer in that vehicle so bam other than that nothing really new has been going on you know another thing that I'm talking going to talk about because I'm, I'm on a soapbox we had to get another dishwasher right <laughs> So we went and bought another dishwasher and those hidden fees they just take over don't they because it was one price and then the hidden fees there because you have to get this nozzle and this pipe or this something and it ended up being more than I thought it was going to be but that's neither here nor there. Um, the, the lady said that they had it in stock and we should be receiving a phone call from the installers within a week so they can set up a time to come do it. Waited a whole week. Josh ended up calling yesterday to see you know, what's going on with, with the delay because nobody called us. Guess what? They didn't truly have it in stock, you guys. Now we're just waiting. She was making it seem like we're going to have our dishwasher within a week or two. That is not the case, right? So where my soup, my soapbox is, is they're so ready to take someone's money that they kind of skim over the truth a little bit, right? Give me my freaking dishwasher that I paid for. You know, there's no payment plan. It was paid for up front. So just give me my stuff. You took my money really quickly with no problem and now I'm having an issue getting my stuff. Same thing with my bed. We're not gonna get our bed frame until the end of December, January. That's just asinine to me when I pay for this in April. You know what I mean? Do you see my frustration here? I hope you do. Anywho, I'm off my soapbox now and um, I'm really happy Josh called because he was really calm and collected. I think that if I would have called and they would have told me that, I would have blew up because I'm just tired of people doing that. <laughs> Josh don't be listening to nothing I say. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> anyway, I'll check in a little bit later, y'all.